Welcome back. You know your trash can be used for something good. It can actually be turned into renewable, natural gas, fertilizer too. So how does this work? Well, the folks over at I Love a Clean San Diego, they're the experts. Michelle Carney is joining us. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. Thanks for having me. We're glad to have you. So we want to talk about re-energizing our waste. I mean, your trash can actually be used, put right back into the system, if you will. And there's a digester that can do this. So Michelle, please explain. Tell us all about this new uh, digestion facility that's coming to La Mesa. Absolutely, yes. So the anaerobic digester is a facility that EDCO has been developing for a while now. So it's really exciting to see it coming to fruition. Um, but what it's able to do is to digest our organic waste and to sort of recapture the harmful methane that would be released into our atmosphere and turn it, just like you said, into renewable um, natural gas to be reused. So we'll get more into the science behind how that's happening and the ins and outs at our event tomorrow. Um, but it's just a really exciting thing to know off the bat that this is this is something that's coming to La Mesa and um, a possibility that's now being open that we can do this curbside. Yeah, I think that's so great. So the stuff you throw away basically can be reused, put into uh, this natural gas. And then what happens with that gas? Where does that go? Great question. Um, so that gas can go a couple places. It can actually either be inserted directly into the gas grid or it can be further um, compressed and made into fuel. So an example that I can give is that um, Edco plans to use it to fuel their fleet of collection trucks. That's so great, full circle, talk about that. So Edco is doing this in La Mesa, of course that's specific to them, uh, but it's important that we all keep in mind, you know, that our trash can be put to good use. Um, first of all, let's specify, when you're talking organic waste, what are you referring to? What exactly is that? Absolutely. So organic waste refers to any waste that's coming from something that was living. So basically, if it grows, then it's organic waste. So that includes both plants and animals um, and can include things like your yard clipping, which you might already be able to recycle curbside, um, like grass clippings or leaves or branches. But now it also can include food. So things like eggshells and applesauce. Mm -hmm. And anything that you've left in the fridge for too long, <laughs> I'm sure exactly. uh, can go a long way. I mean, the idea of, you know, that old stale pizza then can fuel a vehicle that Edco will use is pretty amazing. Um, so we know this is for La Mesa, but then what do you expect to see happen? I mean, is this the plan for other communities in San Diego to then also get one of these digesters for their neighborhoods? Right, so the facility that's being developed by EDCO um, will be used for other jurisdictions locally as well. They're starting with their franchised cities, um, so you can expect to see that roll out. The, the timeline will be a little bit different depending on where you live, so just be sure to check with your local waste hauler, and they can be able to give you a little bit more information on when that organic program is coming. Okay, so there's, you know, a good need to kind of keep in mind, no matter where you live, uh, that your organic waste, you know, you can set it aside and it can be processed in this way. Um, talk about trash in general here in our county and the city as well. Why is it important, uh, you know, that we do think of things like this and reuse some of that waste? I mean, what's going on with obviously our landfills? We know trash doesn't just disappear. <laughs> Absolutely. It's hard to remember that, though, sometimes that it doesn't disappear because for us, it does. You know, it goes into the curbside and then it goes to the, you know, away. But where is away? Um, so that's a great point for a couple of reasons. So right now, over 40 percent of our waste stream in California is organic waste, um, which is a huge amount for something that could be like we're talking about now captured and returned to the energy cycle. Um, so when that organic waste is in our landfills, it as it decomposes, it releases what we call methane gas, which is really harmful for our atmosphere and our environment. So by recapturing that gas and upgrading it to something that we can then reuse to say power a fleet of trucks, mm -hmm. it's really important, especially for our environment and for helping us reach some state mandates um, surrounding organic waste um, emission reductions. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, like I said, over 40% of our landfills waste right now in California is organic waste. Um, and our landfills will not 
will not live forever. They cannot accept a you know infinite amount. And um, three of San Diego's active landfills are actually expected to reach capacity and close within the next 25 years. So it is a very current problem in our lifetime. Yes, that can absolutely happen. And to think 40% of what we throw away can be reused uh, fertilizer fueling vehicles. I'm so glad you're on to talk about this uh, real quick. How can we learn about more? Tell us about your event tomorrow. Oh, great. Thanks. Yes. So the event is going to be a webinar which will take place tomorrow from 4 to 5 p.m. Um, we're going to feature a guest speaker from EDCO. We'll have Carl Sherbaum. So we're super excited to host him. Um, if people are looking to learn more or to register, they can head to cleansd.org. That's clean and then SD as in San Diego.org and head to our events page where they can find all about the event as well as how to register. Perfect. Michelle Carney with I Love a Clean San Diego. So good to have you on. Thank you very much. Thanks so much.